All praise. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm Gary, Lamp of Heaven at Hotmail.com. If you want to contact me about Skype healing, deliverance, prayer, session. We are reading Dove Ministries' 100 Things God Said About Healing. It is the 19th of January, 2022. 10.45 East Coast Fallen World Time. It's always now with God. Always now. 100 things God said about healing. The Lord said, My spirit shall not strive with man forever, for he is indeed flesh. Yet his days shall be 120 years. Now as for you, you shall go forth to your fathers in peace. You shall be buried at a good old age. Now the blood shall be a sign for you on your houses where you are, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. And said, if you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in his sight, and give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. So you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of you, no one shall suffer miscarriage or be barren in your land. I will fulfill the number of your days. And the Lord will take away from you all sickness and will afflict you with none of the terrible diseases of Egypt, which you have known, but will lay them on all those who hate you. and that you may prolong your days in the land which the Lord swore to give to your fathers, to them and their descendants, a land flowing with milk and honey, that your days and the days of your children may be multiplied in the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers to give them like the days of the heavens above the earth. Your sandals shall be iron and bronze as your days, so shall your strength be. Because they had not met the children of Israel with bread and water, but hired Balaam against them to curse them. However, our God turned the curse into a blessing. Then he said to them, Go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, and send portions to those for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy to our Lord. Do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. You shall come to the grave at a full age, as a sheaf of grain ripens in its season. Then he is gracious to him and says, Deliver him from going down to the pit. I have found a ransom, and his flesh shall be young like a child's. He shall return to the days of his youth. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried to you. 
I cried out to you. And you healed me. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. And he will be blessed on earth. You will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. The Lord will strengthen him on the on his bed of illness. The Lord will strengthen him on his bed of illness. You will sustain him on his sick bed. Why are you cast down, O oh my soul? And why are you disquieted within me, hoping God? For I shall yet praise him, the help of my countenance. And my God, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Hear, my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of your life will be many. For they are life to those who find them, and health to all their flesh. The light of the eyes rejoices the heart, and a good report makes the bones healthy. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. A merry heart does good, like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. It shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. The eyes of those who see will not be dim and the ears of those who hear will listen. Also the heart of the rash will understand knowledge, and the tongue of the stammerers will be ready to speak plainly. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the dumb sing, for waters shall burst forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. O Lord, by these things men live, and in all these things is the life of my spirit, so you will restore me and make me live. The Lord was ready to save me. Therefore, we will sing my songs with the stringed instruments all the days of our life in the house of the Lord. He gives power to the weak and to those who have no might. He increases strength. But those who 
wait on the Lord, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Even to our old age, I am he. Even to the gray hairs I will carry you. I have made and I will bear. Even I will carry and will deliver you. Surely he has borne our pains and carried our sicknesses. Yet we esteem, esteemed, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. Yet he was, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. I create the fruit of the lips, peace. Peace to him who is far off and to him who is near, says the Lord. And I will heal him. Then your light shall break forth like the morning. Your healing shall spring forth speedily, and your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he, the Lord has anointed me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he, the Lord has anointed me to preach the good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. For I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. Because they called you an outcast, saying, This is Zion. No one seeks her. Behold, I will bring it health and healing. I will heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth. I will seek what was lost and bring back what was driven away. Bind up the broken and strengthen what was sick. But I will destroy the fat and the strong and feed them in judgment. <clears throat> Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Surely I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. And it shall be that every living thing that moves wherever the rivers go will live. There will be a very great multitude of fish because these waters go there. For they will be healed and everything will live. Wherever the river goes. For thus says the Lord to the house of Israel. Seek me. And live. But to you who fear my name. The son of righteousness. Shall arise. With healing in his wings. And you shall go out and grow fat. Like stall fed calves
And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the, gos the gospel, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people. Behold, a leper came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. When evening had come, they had brought to him many who were a demon possessed. And he cast with a word and healed all who were sick, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, he himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Then he touched their eyes saying, according to your faith, let it be to you. And when he had called his twelve disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. But when Jesus knew it, he withdrew from there, and great multitudes followed him, and he healed them all. And when Jesus went out and saw a great multitude, and he was moved, moved with compassion for them, and healed their sick. And begged him that they might only touch the hem of his garment. And as many as touched it were made perfectly well. For she said, if I only touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. And they were astonished beyond measure, saying, He has done all things well. He has make he makes he makes both the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. Jesus said to him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, Be removed and cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things which he or she says shall will be done but believes that those things he says, she says, will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. They will take up serpents. If they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind to set at liberty those who 
are oppressed. Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. Behold, I give you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. But when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said, Woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy, but I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. If you abide in me, in my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. By this, uh, my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. And in that day, you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. And his name, through faith in his name, has made this man strong, whom you see and know. Yes, the faith which comes through him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. by stretching out your hand to heal, and that signs and wonders and miracles may be done through the name of your holy child and servant, Jesus. And Peter said to him, Ananias, uh, Jesus Christ heals you. Arise and make your bed. Then he arose immediately. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him so that even handkerchiefs or aprons were brought from his body to the sick and the diseases left them and the evil spirits went out of them. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weakness, for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good for those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. To another faith by the same spirit. To another gifts of healings by the same spirit. For he who worked effectively in 
Peter for the apostleship to the circumcised also worked effectively in me toward the Gentiles. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. For you are all sons of God, daughters of God, through faith in Christ Jesus, for as many as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male or female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. Because you are sons and daughters, God has sent forth the spirit of his Son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. Therefore you are no longer a slave, but a son and daughter. And if a son and daughter, then an heir of God through Christ. So that you can know and understand what the immeasurable and unlimited and surpassing greatness of his power in and for us who believe, as demonstrated in the working of his mighty strength, which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Now to him who, by in consequence of the action of his power, that is at work within us, at work within us, is able to carry out his purpose and do superabundantly far over and above all that we dare ask or think infinitely beyond our highest prayers, desires, thoughts, hopes, or dreams that it may be well with you and you may live long on earth. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations but now has been revealed to his saints. To them God willed to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory? And may the God of peace himself sanctify you through and through, separate you from profane things, make you pure and wholly consecrated to God, and may your spirit and soul and body be preserved sound and complete and found blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah. But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick. And the Lord will raise him up. And if he's committed sins, he will be forgiven. Confess your sins, your trespasses, therefore, to one another, and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man or woman availeth the much, who himself bore our sins in his own body, on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might 
to live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. As his divine power has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of him who called us uh, by glory and virtue, by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things, and be in health, just as your soul prospers. Thank you, Bill Subritsky. <laughs>